Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a herringbone pattern in Adobe Photoshop. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a document. So we'll go ahead and click on Create New. For this, I'm going to use the dimensions of 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color. And then background content set to transparent. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. From here, I'm going to create a rectangle. So accessing the rectangle tool using a U for the keyboard shortcut. And then, you, as you can see, we have the rectangle here. Um, if you right click, you can also select between the different shape tools here. So we'll select our rectangle tool. And then just clicking on the canvas here, I'm going to use the dimensions of 300 pixels wide by 600 pixels high with a one to two ratio there. And then just clicking on okay here. Back to uh, my layers panel, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this layer clicking on OK here and then I'm going to uh, rotate this so let's go command T to get our transform tools and then we are just going to rotate it 90 degrees here selecting OK I'm using the move tool we have V on the keyboard I'm just going to align up these two rectangles um, accessing the transform tools again we'll go command or control T and then in the X value here I'm just going to click in between the number and the pixels and then I'm going to type in plus 350 pixels and that's going to shift us over 350 pixels here to give a little bit of space between our two rectangles selecting OK and then selecting this rectangle again, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it, duplicate layer here, selecting OK. And then we are going to align these two rectangles here. And then we are going to do the same thing. So accessing our transform tools, command or control T. And then in the X position here, we will add our plus 350 pixels and then selecting OK. Selecting all three of these rectangles here, I'm going to go ahead and access the transform tools command T and then we are going to go 45 degrees to rotate it here and then selecting OK. Just moving it to the center here. We're going to go ahead and duplicate these layers, duplicate layers and then selecting, selecting OK. And then we are going to drag it down until Photoshop gives us those guides that it's aligned. And then we will do that one more time, right click, duplicate layer, clicking OK, and then we will drag it down to align those layers there. Selecting on this layer here, I'm going to drag a guide from the side just to snap it to that rectangle. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, dragging out a guideline. And then we'll do the same thing from the top. And then selecting this one, we will drag out another guideline here. And now we have the uh, basis of our repeating pattern. So I'm going to um, access the marquee tool. Uh, that's the second one here using M on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to drag out the rectangle here. And then we are going to define our pattern. So let's go hit edit define pattern. And then as you can see, Photoshop will just take what was in our selected area and then clicking on OK here. If you want to crop this down um, to this, then you can go to image crop and then it will crop it down to that selected area. Let's go ahead and test out our pattern by creating a new document. So we'll go file new. I will go ahead and use the same dimensions, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, and then we'll go ahead and click on create. Uh, from here, I'm going to use a pattern adjustment layer. From the drop down menu, you can scroll down and select your newly created pattern here. Uh, when this dialog box is open, you have the option to move your pattern around if you want to position. Uh, where it's located on your image here and then just to get it back to the original you can click snap to origin and then you have the option to scale your pattern so uh, let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit 50 pixel or 50 percent here and then just clicking on okay 
And then to uh, easily change out the colors of your pattern, let's go ahead and add some solid color adjustment layers. So we will add a solid color adjustment layer. I will keep this one black, selecting OK. And then we're just going to create a clipping mask. So right click, create clipping mask. You can also do that by hovering between the two layers and clicking option click or alt click for PC. And then let's give it a background solid color adjustment layer. Uh, this time we will use uh, just the color white FFF, clicking on OK, and then we'll just drag it down to behind. So we have our two colors. And then if you want to uh, easily change it out, just select that color layer. Um, for this case, we'll use a, a two-tone. And then for our top layer, we'll select another color here. And we have our pattern with this uh, two-tone green. To save this pattern as digital scrapbook paper, you're going to go to File, Export, Export As. Here under File Settings, you can select your format. In this case, we will keep it at JPEG. And then under Quality, uh, typically for digital scrapbook paper, you want a higher quality. So we'll just bring it to the highest there. And then as you can see, you have your image size this is the 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. And then just scrolling down under color space, I like to click embed color profile. And then we'll go ahead and just select export to save your file. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a herringbone pattern in Adobe Photoshop. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.